In a development that has divided the town, a postman who has spent one and a half years on the job has been suspended by his boss for allegedly using email. Ramesh Lakshan Rappa was caught by his boss surfing on the internet on Thursday evening. He was also observed callously sending an email using the popular web service gmail.com. In my day, people used to get us to read their letters because they were stupid and old. But these days youngsters, they go to school. For what may I ask? The telephone was the beginning. But the BSNL network has been so ridiculous in this part of the country that it has never really posed a threat to us. I have beaten my son every day for trying to read. I cannot have such a traitorous dog in the department. This email thing, it goes in seconds. What I do in a week. So what if Munni's birthday is in September? She will be three for the rest of the year. Now this email thing has come. I have seen 14 Prime Ministers come and go. This email thing has also come, it will go. Meanwhile, Ramesh has pleaded innocent to all charges. I am a loyal servant. When they said strike, I went on strike. When they said work semi-hard, I worked semi-hard. I don't know what wrong I have done. I did not see anything on the internet. I don't even know how to stick a stamp on the screen. It was my sister's uh, daughter's birthday and she is in America. And I was looking at the computer screen. I don't know what Gmail is. Senior officials were unavailable for comment. However, it is believed that a high-powered committee is looking to ban all Star Trek episodes featuring the transporter as the only form of revenue for the postal service at this time is the parcel delivery system. In an unrelated incident, 80-year-old Leonard Nimoy has allegedly been receiving death threats via inland letters and postcards. <laughs> Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg has also delayed his trip to India for unrelated reasons. Sabir Bhatia, Hotmail founder, has also been reported missing. And that's our show. And in other news, India has condemned the racism among the Australian police force. A high-level Indian official summoned the Australian ambassador Peter Verghese and told him in no uncertain terms that India would not tolerate racism in Australia. But he reiterated that we have no problems with racism in India. The Indian official then went on to tell Peter Verghese the latest Malayali and Sardarji jokes. The ambassador was then invited to the latest sneak preview of the fairness cream ads for the 2011 summer season. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that now. No, no, I know it's not racism if it's not race, but yeah, yeah, this one does it all the time. No, no, cut, we can't play that. <laughs>